Okay, we are going first against a guy that has a two win streak. That's pretty cool. And he's playing Dark Magician, of course. Ooh, we have a nice hand here. A couple of nice cards. Let's start with the field spell. Activate. Um, let's add the level two. Then I'm gonna normal summon this. Activate the effect. To summon... Uh, wait, level five, what does it do? Each of your opponent monsters in the same column. Um, you can add one S4 card from your... Uh, I don't want to add. I want to summon level two. Activate level two effect. Banish this. Return. And then special summon... I think the level six will do. Because it's special summons from... Yeah. Summon level six. Activate the effect. Get level five back. Summon it. And then activate the effect to search a card. Wow, I just realized we could search the trap. That is insane. Is it a hard once per turn? You can only use each effect of S-Force once per... Okay, hard once per turn. We have a quick play. Special summon S-Force monster from your hand in defense. Add it to your hand. Okay, that's not going to be very helpful. I think, yeah, I think we just go for S-Force Chase. Or we could go for a special summon. With... Oh, okay. I think I know what to do. I'll get this card. I will link three into S-Force Justify. I will activate S4 Showdown. I guess I could have kept it. Eh, it's fine. I, 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 I guess I could have set that card and then um, activate on the opponent turn just in case, you know? Anyways, so basically what we have on board is um, this is going to negate um, any monster he summons. And this will bounce any face-up card. I don't even know why I summoned um, Chio or Rappa, Kolo, whatever. Nice card anyway. Magician's Magic. Okay, we can negate Conjurer so he cannot add the spell. I guess that's a good target to negate. And then we save the Compulse. Bounce. I don't know what yet. But we're gonna bounce something. Alright, toggle on. Alright, I'm gonna chain. Targeting this level one. Oh, there is a quick play, huh? What do you have? Diffusion. <sighs> I guess that's cool. I guess I can make use of my double bounce now, at least. That is really unfortunate, dude. Now he got his quick play pop, Conjurer is going to draw one card as well. Really unfortunate case um, this turned out to be. Alright, let's see. Um, circle, yeah. We gotta, we gotta bounce, we gotta bounce. We have to. We're gonna target this, select another card, target this. Yep, as expected, he's gonna chain. Tribute. Some Dark Magician girl. And, oh, he does he know what these cards do? He summoned it in a far away zone. Okay, now because the trap is in the grave, we can activate... And banish the trap instead of a card from hand. Return this and special summon something. Um, this summons from hand only, right? Uh, this card is normal. Special summon. You can special summon this for must from your hand in attack position. Yeah, so I think we just go for this boy. In this zone. Activate it. So we got follow-up. We got some stuff, dude. We got some nice stuff. 
Um, I guess we could either go for trap for follow up or we can go level four to end close out the duel. I'll just go for that. I'll go for the level four. See how it goes. Let's see if that was the right play. A lot of key decisions you need to make. See, after this whole gameplay and his absurd skill, he still ended... Like, he ended with not a crazy board, you know? Two back row and a Dark Magician Girl. That sounds good to me. I think we did well. Oh, I wish I had this card set already. It seems like he got no... It seems like these cards are dead. Um... Yeah, I think we just summon everything, right? I don't think we have anything left in the deck that is of use to special summon. Unless I play three copies of the level 5, do I? I do, so I could summon another level 5 if I wanted to. No, I'd rather just, just go. Go crazy swing. I hope I don't regret that. I could link into a link 3 again. And have it for negates, but I think we should be... Oh, actually! That is a good idea. No. I'll just tie that binds and swing. Yep, that goes through. 11. That goes through. 18. That goes through. I will toggle on just in case this is circle and he wants to activate it. The moment he draws a card, I'm going to activate Jing Jen Hu. Target 1. Target 2, my friend. Those back row cannot be used. So it all comes down to your top deck. Are you good enough to top deck the out? Are you good enough to top deck nothing and we win the game? This deck is fun, dude. YouTube, I'm back with yet another fun deck profile, dude. I did not <clears throat> I did not expect this deck to be so much fun. Um, it has potential. It is good. Not only fun, it is also good. Um, it is... Well, I cannot say it's expensive. You, well, it is, because we you need three copies of Rappa. But if you somehow got your three copies of Rappa, the rest are like... Well, actually, we have the field spell. I guess this deck is expensive. Never mind. Uh, forget about it. Anyways, but it is fun. So if you if you d dug through for Orcus and stuff and got these cards, hey, this is a really fun deck to play. Also, their boss monster is insane, dude. Their boss monster is basically a negate. If, if your opponent summons a monster, activate its effect, you negate it, and then move it to a zone this card is pointing to. What you would do is move it to the zone right in front of you, if you have the field spell, so that your monster cannot be destroyed by battle. And then, on your turn, you attack. This card has another effect, which says it banishes everything that it is pointing to. Um, so, if you're, if you're struggling with a boss monster your opponent has, it is so easy to out it. Um, so, okay, let's not get carried away. Um, let's talk about the deck profile, and I'll explain what this deck does exactly. Basically, we play three Rappa, um, a single Platina, um, three Gravitino, two copies of Edge Razor, um, two copies of S-Force Bridgehead, but if you have three copies of this, play it. I only own two. Um, this is basically the best card in the deck, because it searches whatever card you want, right? You activate the field spell, search any monster. Um, we play Reinforcement of the Army to search also. We play a single S-Force Shadow Down, which can... Or sh Showdown, um, which can special summon a monster from your hand or target an S-Force monster in the grave, add it back to your hand. Also, it's a quick play. You gotta keep that in mind. Um, I play three Compulses. You can play whatever you want um, instead of the three Compulses, as long as it's good back row. I play a single copy of Jing Jin Hu, which is funny. Um, this card hasn't seen played in, like, play in years, but, yeah, I thought might as well drop one, and I also actually used it in a deck, in a duel, so it was fun. And then we play three copies of S-Force Chase. Now, let's see what these cards actually do. Basically, Rappa is the main card that can special summon whatever you want, right? Um, if you have a Rappa on the field, you activate it, you banish a card, a monster from your hand, and then special summon whatever... S-Force monster you want from the deck. So, for example, activate S-Force Rappa, banish a card, this will return to your hand, special summon, let's say, Platina. Platina on special summon is gonna activate to target a banished card and special summon it. And if that card happens to be Edge Razor, it will activate to special summon a card from your hand. If you decide to special summon Gravitino, it searches an S-Force, 
not only monsters but any s force which means you can search s force ace which is a better version of compulse basically it says depending on how many s force monsters you have on the field you can bounce that many face up cards from your opponent's side of the field so let's say you have three s force monsters on the field your opponent has um, three three face up cards, three monsters, uh, let's say, or a field spell and two monsters. You can bounce all three. It is so good. Um, also, it has a second effect. S Force Chase has a second effect. Effect if it's in the grave, instead of paying cost for wrap and banishing a monster from your hand, you can just banish this card from the grave. So it all works together. The deck is so much fun. Um, the gimmick is fun. The gimmick is columns. You got to keep in mind that the, the, the um, the point of this deck is column. So basically each monster has an effect for its column um, This um, restricts your opponent from attacking Except attacking a monster from its same column Also you have the field spell which protect if a monster from the same column attacks you, right? Um, this says um, Any card on the field with, at the same column as this one or S-Force monster is destroyed It is banished instead. So let's say you have this card and two other S-Forces and you attack your opponent, their cards are going to be banished. They're not going to be in the grave, right? Um, it, basically, each one has one. I don't want to make this too long for you. So be, basically, each monster has a, its own column effect. Um, now, let's go for the extra deck. Extra deck is generic. Link 1, Disciple, Link 2, Phoenix and Cerberus, Unicorn, Decaught Talker, Restor Liger. You usually don't go for these. You don't use them. You use the S-Force Justify, which, as I said, can negate a monster, move it to a zone you want, and attack and banish the cards that are uh, uh, like pointed um, towards this card that's pointing towards are gonna be banished so let's say your opponent has trushula and dark magician in the rightmost zone and the middle zone you attack one of them both of them are gonna be banished um, this is basically the deck but i guess you can use any skill you want this was so much fun to play i want to leave you with the duels i think there is only one duel but it's so much fun you gotta watch it i'm gonna see you in the next video, don't forget to like and subscribe, baby.